Hi, this is Yvonne Galusha, Business Computing Essentials Instructor, and I'm here to help you get registered and get going on SimNet. So, you're going to use your regular Hawk ID as your username. So, start by coming here and talk, typing your Hawk ID. In my case, I've set up an example student, and so that one's person's Hawk ID is just example student. Then, Everybody has the same password right now. H A W K S T U D E N T, Hawk Student. Click Sign In, and the first thing it's going to do, because you have not yet registered, is ask you to either enter registration code or purchase one. Everybody needs to buy this, so click Buy Online. You need to accept the terms of use right there click check that box and say next now this is very important keep that radio button clicked what you need to purchase is simnet skills approach for 105 if you do not choose this one you will not have the ebook and you will not be able to do the chapter assignments okay so you have to have this one simnet skills approach 105 click next now you choose your method of payment. I'm, I'm not going to continue stepping through all this, but if you do credit card, you're going to go ahead and fill this out and then click buy. Once you've purchased it, you're able to return to SimNet and then re-log in. So I'm going to start at that point as, uh, with my tr example student already with the registration code next. So once you've re-logged in with your Hawk ID as the login and that same password right now, Hawk Student as the password, you're going to see this page. And I've already put you in the correct class, Business Computing Essentials Fall 2013. So everything is set up here. You shouldn't have to change anything. The only thing that you probably want to change is your password. So if you click edit right here, you can enter a new password. So I suggest that you enter something obviously that only you know because this is going to be how you complete most of your coursework. And then go ahead and say update. And now next time you log in you have your Hawk ID as your login and whatever password you chose for your password. So that's what you needed to do to get registered and set up to do work on SimNet. Thank you.